us. Look at you wearing mine. Look at us. Always Look at us. Here we are. Hello. Good evening. Everybody. Hope everybody is having a We fine don't have a screen on. Oh, I don't have that one on. Sorry. I was ready for that part. Hope everybody's doing well. Let us know that you're out there. It's snowing and it's raining. Depending on how high you are, it's snowing. If it's too far down, it's raining. Here, it's raining. Mm -hmm. Go about 50 feet up or 100 feet up, it's snowing. Mm -hmm. Nancy Lulon, Jay Haber. So true, Kathy, hello. so true. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Bindi. Such a pretty flower in that. Do do. Waiting for a Facebook person. Well, Ken's Facebook went straight up, so <laughs> should work. Faraz Ahmad, hello. Star, hello. Beth, hello. Whoops, wrong way. Whoops, wrong way. I'm sorry, my big screen in front of us is like not where I want it to be. Where am I? Not where he wants Oops. it to okay. be. There we go. And down and up. Angela, hello. Deb, hello. Lori. Camera, music art, music chick art from Toronto. All right. One of these days, I've got to go to <coughs> Toronto. I have a friend. I have an old Navy friend that lives there. Hello, my handsome friends. Hello, Barbie. How is everyone today? Melissa, hello. Catherine, hello. So, um, it was another long day. Today was, I mean, it was a good day, but it just was long because I got to designing. Yeah, you did. And when I get to designing, I get lost. And I'll show you what I made. Yes. You're going to go up online tomorrow on Etsy, but you guys get first looks to tell me what you think. What do you think? Can I ask what, do, do what you the think? stuff was you used at the car? Let me go grab a sheet to show up on. So Karen wants to know, what was the clear stuff you used on your Chalk Live thingy? Chalk Live TV. Oh, uh, the clear stuff. What yes, is it? it is uh, transfer gel by Decker Transfer Pearl. gel. This stuff. Thanks, Nancy. Okay, so it is Thanksgiving week. Um, we just confirmed our plans that we're going to go over to our brother's house. Um, I'll probably do a Ken from the car tomorrow. Uh, and then we won't see you guys until next week, which yeah. is really sad. But I want to do a Ken from the car tomorrow because I'm going to be listing some ornaments I designed. And ornaments. For some of them I didn't like fully design. I just kind of did it. But let me show you these and get, you just want to get your feedback. So the first one is that one. Let me zoom in It's here. on a clear three and a half acrylic hood ornament. Isn't that cute? What's your thoughts on that one, Sean? What do you think? I love this because I love anything Star Wars. I mean, come on. I was wondering if you could make me a project for personalized. I don't have time or the the time or the cutout machine. You bet. Stephanie, reach out to Kenny a little later and he'll let you know. Hi, Jan. On what? Uh, she was wondering about, she's under you, under Ken's Creations, and was wanting to about something personalized. Oh, okay. Yeah, just reach out. So, look at that. Love the magic okay, things. so then these ones I designed, or I did not design, but I love the file and printed them, and they turned out so cute so we're gonna be offering these on etsy in a set of six and i'm actually gonna probably use these in a project soon yeah. but i already posted them in our group and someone says it's giving me very mary inglebright if you guys remember mary inglebright aren't those cute aren't they? i'll zoom in so you can kind of now see we them. printed this on our uv printer so you can see it's a full layer of white on the back and uh i didn't design these no I got these and no edits were needed because they were so freaking cute. So those are going to be going up through Ken from the car tomorrow. I'll have a link. So you want to be looking for that. And then the last one, which I designed and I'm still kind of tweaking them, but I want to know what your feedback is on these. Uh, Beth, all this stuff is not at Hobby Lobby, but you can get it. If it's not at Hobby Lobby or stuff like that, it could be like on Amazon or Amazon yeah. or Thermal Back up to us. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then I want your opinion on these. I love these. My friend Ali gave me the idea, and I had to do some quick designing and stuff. They were a little tricky, but I think they turned out good. But I want your feedback. The blessing. Holy, holy shit. Where's the title? Mm hmm. Grace, she passed away 30 years ago. So it's like, Grace. 
she passed away 38. No, they want you to say the blessings. And then he says that when he goes down the hill. Mm -hmm. And then bingo. So what do you guys think on those? Love them. All of them will be going up on Etsy here soon. Just because we're having fun with ornaments. Oh my God, I need those. Yes, love them. So here's kind of all love. of them that we will have go up on tomorrow. Let me kind of move these around. Aren't they fun? I'm just, basically we're just having fun with our UV machine. Yes, we are. I love, I know these ones turned out really good, I think. And they're actually from the shots in the movie. So they're, they're actual mean, shots. They're up close. So I mean, they're, and they're UV printed. They're not coming off, but still they're, you know, I tried to get the best shots I could, mm -hmm. but they're cute. All right. So let's get going on today's project. Be looking tomorrow on Etsy for those and on my tent from the car. We'll talk about that. So today I wanted to use recycle something. Um, we had made in August, maybe. Hmm. It would have been before I went to treatment, a tear tray spooky thing. And we painted it black. I distressed it. And I didn't really need the tear tray anymore. But I still wanted to use it. And I loved it. So I kind of wanted to think, what could I do? And I love the fact that this has stuff to hang on a wall or set up. And it kind of looks like a tray. Mm -hmm. um, so I started thinking, well, we could do something with this transfer, which is the Santa Claus is coming to town transfer. Um, it comes with that and cookies for Santa. We do have wood cutouts on our site. The links are down below on Ken's Creations Inc. that come with the circle that matches up with the transfer. Mm -hmm. And then we also have the Santa head, which if you just want to do Santa head and then cookies for Santa. So um, we're going to do something with that tonight just to upcycle all of this and save stuff. So if you want um, the file, so you can buy the file to cut this yourself, which comes with the Santa, the Santa head, and the thing that says cookies for Santa that comes like this. Because the other part of this transfer, which is somewhere, no, you don't, is it, is it valid? I don't know what, what is it. One of these? Oh, it's that one right there. Yeah. This one here. So this goes because you can either have it say Santa Claus is coming to town, Santa Claus is coming to town, or you also have cookies for Santa. So that lines up with that. So you can either buy the digital file to cut this yourself on our Etsy store or the actual wood cutouts. Mm -hmm. We're gonna actually be using this. Um, and we're just doing the Santa Claus is coming to town. And I am gonna start by painting I'm trying to think what color. I think I'm going to do this just in white because we're going to do this base in a nice Christmassy red. Actually, I'll paint that first. Okay. So I, I didn't want just a traditional. Oh, I haven't even done any of my intro. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you guys have questions on Chalk Couture, any supplies we used, anything like that, the links are down below. We would love for you to support us um, by using those links. If you're interested in Chalk Couture, which is what we're using on the transfer tonight and the tier tray, all the things, um, the links are down below. You can reach out to us and yeah. There you go. There you go. Good. Okay. You love it? So we are going to start by painting this. And I didn't want to go with like a traditional Christmas red. I mean, I love Christmas red. Don't get me wrong. I mean, like candy apples, like a traditional bright red. Nice bright but red. I wanted to go for like more of a darker, darker red. vintage, kind of like vintage. Red. Yeah, there you go. Vintage red. So this is actually um, Dixie Bell silk paint. Mm -hmm. And this um, is called fiery sky so we're just going to do a base paint now you're not going to see some of this because part of this is going to go above it but it's going to give it a nice pop of red i originally was going to do this project in white and so sean spent all this time painting <laughs> it in white so i have a nice base coat yes somebody asked us where did we get our aprons disney.com i believe Wasn't these it? ones came from yeah so that tradition kind of started by accident we were at disney world mm -hmm. last year in september 
when we went on an incentive trip and I saw a Halloween apron and I bought it and we got so many compliments and then we bought one that said droid like where you can build little droids mm -hmm. or lightsabers and then this one came out and another one came out and I don't know if they stopped doing them I didn't find a Halloween one last year I'll see if they have a new Christmas one but I don't know if that's something they stopped or what Okay, so we got a base coat. I'm going to dry this so we can... Sam. I don't know if I want to use this because there's like little things or I've in, used these so much they're uh, in the brush. They That's are the bad thing about natural brushes they can't stay on as well. Mm -mm. The bristles come out. So basically tonight I kind of wanted to do more of a basic easier project because yesterday you can show them yesterday's project mm -hmm. if you want. Um, we did a project and I loved how it turned out. It just took a lot of time so Sometimes I like to go back to some basics. Hey George, long time no see. Isn't that fun? Mm -hmm. I have fun with that one. Oh, I love this red. It's kind of a, they call it fiery sky. It's kind of a reddish pink. I don't know. I don't know. Is Thanksgiving say. early this year? It seems it's early. It's always the third Thursday of the month. Gosh. Or the last is the last Thursday or the third it Thursday? It just came like crazy this year. I forget what it, I, think it's, I want to say it's every third Thursday. And I'm telling you what, I have been hearing from just everyone this year. They are ready for this year. It's always the me. fourth Thursday. I can't jinx this year because last year I said, oh, it can't be worse than, you know, it all started in 2020 when I was like, I can't get worse than this. Can't get worse. Every year, I swear it's gotten worse. So I'm hoping for a good 2023. We'll end the year good because we'll have puppies. We're having puppies. Puppies. distressed pattern it's giving me mm -hmm. kind of fun it is it is I was debating if I should put some of my garnet in there just to give it some shine what do you think no no mm. we don't need to put glitter on everything Kenny yes we do yes we do yes, yes we, we do, do. So, uh, what are you making for Thanksgiving, Sean? What are we making? I am making my roasted garlic potatoes, and I have to make a like a meat tray or a, some kind of a tray. So I uh, do my potatoes. I wish I had a rice over that would be that'd be fun. But anyway, um, I roast roast my garlic, get cream, butter. Once the roasted garlic is finished, then I throw that in a pan saucepan along with the cream and the butter and let it steep for a while so all the cream is garlicky and then I add it to the potatoes and whip them all up. There you go. FDR declared it that it would be that day. Well, look at you, Vicky, knowing that. I didn't know that. I did not know that. 
I'm sure I could go search it, but no thanks. Watch out that you're you're gonna have a really thick paint in the crease. George says he loves the scent is coming to town transfer. It is a cute one. It's one of my favorites that they released this year. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to let this kind of chillax. You have a small spot you probably missed on the edge, right? Oh, thanks, Sean. There. Just saw it as you picked it up. We'll probably add just a little bit of... This poor thing's now had like eight coats of paint <laughs> in a matter of... A few minutes because I don't Look worry, you. I caught it. Look at you catching it. All right, leave this out just in case we need it, and then this we're just going to paint white. There you go, Miss Angela. That's exactly how I do. I use my KitchenAid. You want to grab the white and wash paint off? Yes, now. white paint. White paint from Dixie Bell is called Cotton. Yes, we're on all four of our platforms. Or for now. For now. I'm telling you, the world's a changing. Yeah, and everyone wants to be just on TikTok and short form videos. So we're looking towards doing that because. A lot of people just aren't watching YouTube and log videos. Everyone wants short form. So, I'm not saying we're giving up on YouTube. I'm just saying that um, we might have to change kind of our focus on how we do stuff. It was kind of interesting. I watched a documentary. Well, well not a documentary. For any of that watches Shane Dawson, he did kind of a... A thing on Jeffree Star about how Jeffree Star really has changed his life radically. Yeah. And part of that was him announcing he's probably going to leave YouTube because no one's really watching long form videos, yada yada. And which, which is interesting when you look at what, how many views he gets compared to what we get. He used to get millions and millions mm -hmm. of views, and it's down to like eight hundred fifty thousand. We'd be happy to have eight hundred fifty thousand. But, I mean, but it makes compared sense to what, what it was what getting, got, yeah. yeah. It's all about TikTok. Now this is on dry wood, so this will absorb quite a bit. Yeah. And then what I like to do is spray it just with a little bit of water. Take my brush here, which I think is called the Scarlet Brush. The Scarlet Brush. And then we're gonna put another layer on. And this is really good because it's supposed to minimize. Brush stroke look. Mm -hmm. It's beginning to look like a lot like Christmas. What is your favorite Christmas song? Asks Linda. You like Carol of the Bells, yep. which is good. Which which version? Um, I mean, my probably my all time favorite is the Trans Siberian Christmas in Sarajevo. Sar Sarajevo. Mm -hmm. But right now, I'm loving Lindsey Sterling's new Christmas album. Oh, it is very good. It is super good. I hate TikTok. That's Tamara. All right, so that is done. We just need to let that chillax. We would have had this kind of done, but I kind of changed halfway through. And I said, Sean, here's our project. And then I was like, ooh, no. Not so much. Not so much. Now I'm going to change. And he was like, whoa, nothing is painted. And I was like, well. Yeah, we'll just do it live. Yeah. Crap. It's my piece. Yeah, put it yeah, on. That, that, the thing is so... Can we you just, grab me another we just, scarlet brush? We just need a new... A new what? A new thing of white. That thing has been... It's been through the beater. Through the beater. 
Kathleen from SoCal. I love SoCal. Just too damn expensive to live there. I love it. San Diego is my fave. I just asked for a scarlet brush for Christmas. Maria, excellent. They're nice. I know. Hi, Dina. Love you too. So here is, I'm telling you, a strong mat oh. is the way to go. Yes. Oh, that looks good. All right, as Sean Ooh. talks to the peeps. Nat, Nat King Cole, Oh, Hell, oh Holy Night. Well, that's a good that's one. A good one. I, I like it. Nat has this voice that is just stunning. Stunning voice right here. Can you do this in one? Um, I'm going to clean that and do it in scarlet so okay. I don't get the brush marks on here. Okay. I need to dry this. All right. So do you want to wash that and I'll go dry that? If you dry those two for me, I would I greatly appreciate these. it. Then yes, we are ready yes, yes. to transfer and... Blue All right, a little loud here, sorry. Oh no, I hate the flu. Trying to get some of these brush marks out of here. I love Pentatonics. Married, did you know? Just gorgeous. In that fact, is... any Christmas song they do is stunning. Yeah. Yes, I would good. agree with that. Would agree. I like Pentatonics. I think I probably will get murdered for this. They're a little overexposed at Christmas. They have so much Christmas. They do. That it's almost too much. Um, I like, uh, I mean, I have my go-to album, Celine Dion, Josh Groban, Amy Grant. Michael Bublé. Michael Bublé is one of his favorites. Of course, the traditional ones, Mariah Carey's Christmas album. Um, I love, love for King and Country's Christmas album. Um, and then, uh, gosh, what other ones? All, we love Trans-Siberian, Mannheim, Steamroller, Lindsay mm -hmm. Sterling, Peter Hollins has a good one. Kathleen says, the old crooners, Bill, uh, Bean Crosby, Fink, Frank Sinatra. Those are good. They are good. This year has been rough. I've had a rotator cuff and bicep surgery on both soldiers. Yikes, Janine. Sorry to hear that. Ugh. All right, so once this dries, we're going to go ahead. We're not actually doing any transferring on this bottom layer. It is all just... Hello, Miss Crone. How's it going? John Barry has it. Who's John Barry? I think he's an older one, isn't he, or no? I'm not sure who that is, yeah. How is Miss Cece doing? Getting bigger by the day, by the mm -hmm. minute. She's laying down right now. We're waiting for a call tomorrow to see when we can take her in. Dean Martin, Andy Williams, Mel Torme. All right, so yeah. we leave this out just because I have to do touch ups. Okay. Um, because I don't have a paste that matches this color, um, I had to there make used, one. There used to be. <laughs> there used to be one that was very close, very close. right? Yeah. 
Uh, but I wanted it to match as close as possible. So to get to this kind of fiery sky color, I don't know if you guys know this, you can mix our um, transfers, or excuse me, our pastes. Oh, very cool. Um, so what I did is I took basically equal parts of candy apple, currant jam, mixed it, and then added just a little touch of berry. And that got us to this color, which is pretty dang Pretty dang close, close. yep. So, but it has been sitting out. Let me make sure I don't need to... Wet it. Wet it. What do you think? That's pretty good. Thin enough for you, you think? John Barry's a country music star back in the 90s. Thank you. Got my trusty, dusty. And I did wash this, so I'm making sure it's dry and not. And this will allow us to be center. So when I created this file, I always create it with a 0.5 offset. I'll let Sean take a look at that. If you need a movie. Nope. Looks good. good? No, very good. It looks wonderbar. And then on this one, we do want to take the time to really push it down, especially on these little letters, and try to make sure there is no bubbles because it's pretty open spaces. Usually you can just take your fingers. If your fingers don't work, you can always grab like a four inch squeegee. And the best way is to kind of look at it from an angle. Yeah, yeah I can see just a little bit here from my angle. Where? Right through here. Stand by me and you'll see, it, see what I mean. Lisa, these stencils are from Chalk Couture. If you start using your paste, you'll notice your bubble right away. You'll see it. You'll look like, and oh my goodness. A lot of times you can fix it so it's not a huge ordeal if you have one. And most of our transfers actually do kind of come with, they've done a really good job adding like a distress feel to them. So that way if you don't get a perfect transfer, it's okay. So we're just removing our excess. Appeal and reveal. Love it. All right, be careful touching that. Yeah, I will not touch it. I'm gonna go wash this in our sink. I'm gonna go straight down so I don't have it blown everywhere. You want to show them how I wash? Yep. I'm going to see him wash uh, the transfer, try to get the bulky part of it off, and of course using a nice big giant sink helps a lot, especially for those bit, really large transfers they have. Even though that this might stain the transfer because of all the uh, pigment that are in that's in red and stuff, doesn't matter as long as the uh, mesh part is clean 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 and you can use it over and over again no problem beautiful it does look how clean that came and once it's clean and dried you can use it right over again He tried to be sneaky. Oh, that turned out so oh, it did. good. Is that, it though? that color is gorgeous. Oh, that my is a goodness. very, very pretty, very 
I would definitely say if you look at, remember the old original Santa Claus, like the German type of Santa Claus, yes. once they turned to red because it used to be green. So basically, Beautiful. like I said, it's I did an equal part of candy apple, currant jam, mixed it up really good, and then I took a little stir stick and did like two dollops of berry to get to that. Yeah. And once, I mean, this is wet, so it looks a lot brighter, but it should come pretty close. Pretty dang close. Okay. So I'm going to turn on my hot glue gun. We're going to flip this over. Where's my hot glue gun? Do you have it? You have it. Oh, I do. Let me see how many batteries you got. You got three. See no problem. See how many batteries. So while you're power. turning that on, I am going to... I'm going to grab this because there's going to be a drippy drip here in a second. Thank you, Sandy. Let that heat up. Ow. You alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, get those fingers. I hate it, hate it, hate it. I just have a couple touch up areas where it came up, so I'm just gonna. This is where patience comes in, because if you let it dry all the way, it doesn't come up. But if you don't let it dry and you try to brush on top of that, it pulls up the paint on you. <laughs> Not fun. <laughs> Sean's always like, just take the time to let it dry. <laughs> You're seeing the idea here. I do. Now, this here is from, like I said, this is from the um, tear tray. You, in a normal packet tear tray, you get these two things and the metal pieces and stuff like that. Yep. Um, and we're just repurposing that. And it just happened to be our cutout for the Santa Claus is like a perfect like, match. It's like a millimeter bigger. That's it. Yeah. If that. But it's what's like... going to be great then is I can then glue this part down. And it will be raised up, and it will give it a really cool look. So right now, we literally are waiting for paint to dry and glue to work. Yep. Warm up. Yep. Sorry. You know, I have hiccups. Hi, Dantha. Long time no see. Should we add glitter? I do have I a dark know. glitter that I can add on the edges. Glitter to what? Like a sangria, like on the edges here, like to let it pop. That's up to you. You know me. Sean says, Sean doesn't want the glitter. Yeah, it's fine. If you'd want to do no, it. No, he wants the you old, can do, you no, like you the old-fashioned look. I like it. No, I like it simple. You want to grab another glue stick? We are uh, Oh, yes. The whole box. Not quite there yet? Yeah, because that little nib didn't come off yet. I had to yank it off. Chalk needs to come out with that color. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? It's beautiful. They did something. It, there was one that was close. This one. Scarlet. That, do you think it was there scarlet? There was scarlet or rosewood? Rosewood is like more muted. Um, yeah, rosewood was muted. Hi, Jerry. Pomegranate? Right. Nah, well, no, pomegranate was more purpley. Yeah, they need to come out with this color. I, I agree. Know. If they don't, maybe I just start my For own. For someone new thing. to chocolate, what would you start with? I would start, you start with anything really, but hey, my basic colors mm -hmm. in paste so white, black, red, green, white, blue, yellow. Denise says it's scarlet. You're probably um, right, Scarlett. Actually, if I was brand new, I'd probably buy all the paste packets so I could look at all the colors. Yep. And mm -hmm. then I would buy whatever. That's what's hard with chalk because everyone's like, what What transfers do I start with? I'm like, whatever floats your fancy. Pamela asks, will this be up on the site? What part? What part? So the cutouts for Santa's already up on the site. Yes. I have strings everywhere on me. Spiderweb. And so are the digital files. Yep. So if you want the 
Uh, Boy, look at that French name. If you want the SVG files, you can get that. That would create your own. Mm -hmm. If you want the um, cutouts, we can do that. The tier tray is on my chalk site. The transfer is on my chalk site. Let that dry a bit. This is pretty dry now. Let me double check. Maybe start with evergreen oh. transfer. Oh, that's gonna be. <laughs> okay, I need your help making sure it is centered. Yes, please. Okay, right. we ready? Yep. The heat have... is on. Luckily, you have a moment with this stuff. On the street, the heat is. Ch -ch 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 oh. Down, 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 down. Okay, you can do the honors. Don't f it up. Don't have that. I mean, we don't have to, but we could. Let's just see what it looks like. Sage Roberts. Hi, Miss Sage Roberts. Hi, Sage Roberts. Oh boy. Oh boy. No red. Valerie Gerke Popjoy. Or Pope Popejoy. What does that mean, Sage? I don't get it. Sandy says she loves it. It's butamus. Okay, well we have to decide if we want to do. The balls around it or no balls? Mm. Well, if you do it, you gotta have them all. Are you doing two and one, two and one? These are two different colors. Oh, that's, yeah, these are gold. Yeah. On TV, it almost looks the same. Oh, well, I do have a red, but I thought red might throw it off. Doesn't it? Mm hmm. Yeah. But these are different colors. They just look very yeah, gold. Ooh, but I do have like a flat. Oh, you're fine, Sage. I what figured, about I flat? Flat gold? No. No. Okay. Let's no just... balls too distracting. Says Ballas. no game yes, the balls. ever. <laughs> I'm liking it, I would say, without myself. Let's just do half. Halfsies. Halfies. Halfies. We miss you, Sagey Pants. Yes, we miss you. Hope you're enjoying your your time down there in old Utah. Somebody says put... Um, Put white in between each one. I don't know if you have enough of those, do you? If you did. I like it without. You like it without? I like it without. Without, okay. without, without, no balls, without, without. Okay, okay, okay. That's what I mean. I'm just reading. Okay. Oh, there's Valerie Gerke. Hey, right. people. Now I know who she is. I she hear is. you. No balls. Got it. Man. You guys are a tough crowd tonight. He's just so stunning, no need to distract. Okay. True. Let me just blow all the dust and glitter. <laughs> yeah, you guys are right. It's so simple, like, yet, like, striking. And that, that nice, like, like, that would look so good on a wall because of the height difference. Mm-hmm. I like it. I love it. I love it. That's perfect. Here, sure. we'll show you up top. Show you up top. Yeah. Now I could, now I see how you would say with a little red glitter rim would be kind of cool, but no. That, I mean, it's up to you. Here, hold on. Do we do glitter on the rim, people? 
Glitter on the rim would make a great clock. It would make a great clock. Do we do glitter on the rim? Maybe a sprig of holly on the side. A little glitter on the rim. Glitter on the rim. A little glitter on the it rim. It just screams Christmas. I know it, doesn't it? Glitter, glitter. We can do glitter, glitter, glitter. We can do glitter. Vicky says no glitter. She's the first. Love this, love this, love this. So only one person said no glitter. Of course, you gotta wait for the. The time delay. No glitter. I would like to see lights around it. Ooh, that would look cool. That would look kind of cool. Like, um, if you can get those glitter on the rim. Okay, we can try it. Let's just see what one little section looks like. What are you going to use? Um, I'm just going to use a little bit of... If you can get those battery-operated uh, LED lights just to kind of pop it in behind. So when it's like on a wall or something, that it kind of lives. Unfortunately, we don't have those, so we can't do that. I think this is clogged. Glitter on the rim, which I'm assuming you meant rim, not rum. <laughs> Love the rum. And fairy lights in the grooves. Woo! So I would think, I would think glitter, like, beh literally behind it in the very back. Sprinkle some snow. No balls, but some glitter. No glitter, he's old fashioned. Likely this should come right off, right? If you want to take it off. And this color is sangria. So it's a very dark, as you can see, a very dark glitter. Put it up to the front. Mm. Oh, music. Mean. I don't know. You guys. Debbie yeah, says no. Okay, let's look at it real quick before I wipe it off. Let, what do you guys think? Kathy Glitter's it, hard to see on camera, but. Yes, glitter. Pretty. White glitter. The more I look at it, I really do think I like just the plain. Plain Jane. Don't you? What do you think? It's hard to see it. Try white. Love it, but I'm a glitter gal. Yes to glitter. What about a white glitter? Well, do you think white would be too much? I don't know, because you already have a nice white rim on the inside, so maybe just kind of... Okay. I'm doing all the things for you people today. This one? Yeah, that's white. This one is called coconut. Okay, let's try that. We could add the ornaments as a bead hanger. I thought about that too. Yeah, I know what they're talking about. Okay, so let's go over here on this one. Try just a little bit more of the white. I like the glitter, but the plain makes it look vintage. See, that's what I'm liking about the plain. I thought you would have gotten something more sparkly. You don't want it to take away too much. True. Bells would be neat instead of balls. Glitter makes it look too much like a Dollar Tree. They glitter everything. Agreed. Agreed. Nope. Now, see, that makes it look like it's... All right. All right. Can I come off? Yep. We're going back to vintage. Vintage, plain, plain. plain yep. Plain. Give me one sec. Wait, put the glitter back in? Mm-hmm. Holly, something green.
have an idea. You just wait, Keats. I'm not saying I'm doing it. I'm going to figure it out and see if I like it. Before I bring on camera, you talk to the people. Talking to the beeps. The white definitely makes it look cheap. I agree. Nope, just the accent. Like a pine branch or a holly. Unless there's more on this one, looks awesome vintage. And that, oh, this might work. Hi, little boy. You want hi. to say hi to everyone? Come here. Come here. Up. Hi. Hunter babies. Hi. Can you hand me a fine tip marker or a brush? Mm -hmm. try oh, I have this right here. Yeah, they're okay. Okay, give me one sec. I gotta get my glitter off before I commit to this. It would be neat if it was crackled. Ooh, yeah, but of course you have to have a special stuff to do that. We do. We have crackle. Yeah, but. Can't do it now. No. Wooden beads would be cute. Hunter, hi, Hunter. Maybe some hunter fur. <laughs> there probably is hunter fur somewhere already on it. Uh, hunter babies. No, you keep your mouth off of stuff in that drawer. He doesn't know how to do that. Hunter's gorgeous. He is. He's a man now. Yes, he is. <laughs> I wonder if I can get. Might I might be able to get. Let's see. Go here and then go to. Uh, I don't. See, I think that's as far out as I can, and I can't go any further. So there's Riley. There's Riley. She might get up if I pull it, so let me try to see what she does. What are we doing, Daddy? Why do I have to stay? There's our pregnant mommy. Riles isn't pregnant. No, I didn't say that. I said. Oh, I thought you were showing. You can her else. you can see how much bigger she is. <laughs> what are you guys doing? You giving mommy kisses? CC Sierra. Okay, I'm liking this. So. I'll bring it out to finish it. Okay, let me bring this back in to one. So I'm just using, and the reason why I didn't really want to use this is I don't think they have this available anymore. This is Dixie Bell's Gemstone Mute. Moose. Moose. It's great stuff, but I can't find it on their website. So either they're out or they have discontinued it, which I need to ask them because I love this stuff. And this is matches the color perfect, and it isn't taking away from it. It just adds a little bit of a metal shine to it. Yes, Cece is pregnant. She's due between the first and second week of next month. We're waiting for a call from the doc, the vet tomorrow to find out when we need to bring her in so we can count how many she's having. We don't want a lot. Let's put it that way. Six would be good. Four would be good. Four would even be better, but I know it's not going to be that because it's very hard. Have you used Metallics by Dixie Bell? I have, and I love yeah. their stuff yeah. too. Yeah, very, very pretty stuff. Um, I love that. I know it's pretty. It's a little hard for on camera itself, but it's got a nice little metallic-y shine to it. Again, it's their mousse. Okay, let me dry that and then see if we need to do any touch-ups, but I think that is perfect. There we go. It's hard to really see. Let me see if I can get it in the light. Oh, there it is. You can see how it shines. So depending on which angle you got, you have a little bit of, a little bit of, uh, probably a little bit of a um, glitter. Just a little Just bit. Isn't that pretty? Fine. Yeah, very pretty. Yes, that's perfect. That's exactly it. They should hurt you. You can show the front, Sean, if you're good. 
show up front here. That turned out so good. I love it. It's simple. Tracy yeah. Wagner. Hello, Tracy. It Whoops. screams. There we go. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Oh, look at that shine. Just a little bit of shine, you know? Here, let me see if I can get it closer and show them. Here, I'll sit right. See? Thanks, cool. Tracy. That's so cool. I'm Is glad the, we didn't do glitter. I'm glad we finished with the gemstone yeah. mousse. Is the roof up there, Tracy? Because I think last time we talked to you guys, we were getting, the, uh, getting up the roof. All right, guys. That's one more, it. One more look here. There we go. It turned out so great. It did. Perfect. All right. Just, well, enough, just enough shine, but not like super sparkly. Agreed. Pretty well. Wow. Yeah, and it's cool because it's got that nice raised look, so I yeah. love it. Um, all right, so if you, I think I'm going to be doing Ken from the car tomorrow. I think so. Mm -hmm. um, if you had any questions on the products we use, remember the mm -hmm. cutouts. You can get the cutouts on our Etsy store, the SVG file on our Etsy store. Um, the ornaments that I showed at the beginning, I'll be showing in Ken from the car tomorrow, will be up on our Etsy store by yep. tomorrow. Yep. And then we won't be back on this channel or really Anywhere. besides... Chocator stuff until unless next we, Monday. Unless we want to go live just for S and Gs, but you know. Yes. So. Thanks, Tracy. We like these yeah. too. Isn't that cute? So. Christmas one last look. Look at that. That turned out really nice. I it did. It. I love it. Love it. I Thank love it. Sure. It's perfect. And Great yes, talk. and happy Thanksgiving to you all. Oh yes. As well. Happy Thanksgiving. Hope everybody has a moist turkey, flavorful Ew, ham. I hate that word. Like that juicy one. turkey there you go nice juicy yes. turkey and or a nice flavorful ham creamy all mashed potatoes things. and flavorful uh, all that stuff. all the things all the things. bye everyone bye everybody